uh, we now know of thousands of planets in the galaxy. And this one, though, is different. It's special because it's really our neighbor. We would be in trouble if a global cataclysm happened today and we had to board the last lifeboat to another cosmic island. The next closest star would take thousands of years to reach with existing technology. And during that time, humans would have to endure the merciless wrath of space. Consequently, the search for exoplanets in our neighbourhood has intensified recently. But in what might turn out to be the most thrilling discovery to date, astronomers have recently revealed that they have found an Earth-like planet around Proxima Centauri. This recently found exoplanet meets what seems like an impossible triple whammy. It is Earth-like, it orbits within the habitable zone of its solar, and it is within our reach. But is this too good to be true? Could this planet have life on it? Or could it become a future home for us? Join us as we explore the new Earth-like planet orbiting Proxima Centauri within the habitable zone. Astronomers have known about Proxima Centauri for more than a century, and they have assumed that it, along with Alpha Centauri A and B, is likely to be a member of a trinary star system. In the past, the Kepler mission has revealed several Earth-like exoplanets that were deemed to be likely habitable. In addition, a group of scientists from different parts of the world have just reduced the Kepler catalogue of exoplanets that could host life to 20 of the most probable candidates. Nonetheless, these planetary bodies are typically located hundreds, if not thousands, of light years from our planet. Astronomers have discovered proof of a third planet circling Proxima Centauri, the star closest to our solar system. This enigmatic star system is a perfect target for a future mission to study a world beyond the limits of our own solar system because of its relative proximity to Earth. It is very astounding to think that a mission from Earth could reach a habitable planet during our lives. Naturally, though, there are grounds for cautious optimism. The new exoplanet was found in the vicinity of Proxima Centauri by the Chilean team that conducted the investigation using the very large telescope of the European Southern Observatory. They detected a signal that was consistent with an object circling the star every five days. To prove that the signal was actually from a planet and not due to minute variations in the star, the researchers had to perform follow-up observations using the Echelle spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations, espresso instrument, because the first signal was so faint. This planet, which has been named Proxima d, makes up nearly 25% of Earth's mass. In fact, it's not only the lightest planet discovered in this star system, but one of the lightest exoplanets ever discovered. The reason is that if we ever perfect our ability to leave the solar system and go to other star systems, Proxima Centauri would be one of our first stops. After all, it is the closest star system known to Earth. Now we have more evidence there are diverse worlds waiting for these future endeavours to explore. This finding demonstrates that the galaxy nearest to our own appears to be teeming with intriguing new worlds that could be explored in the future. Proxima d orbits its star from a distance of about miles, less than a tenth of Mercury's distance from the Sun. A single orbit around Proxima Centauri is completed in only five days. However, it passes close to the habitable zone of the star, which is the region surrounding a star where planets can have liquid water on their surfaces because the temperature is just right. Liquid surface water is frequently the missing piece when trying to piece together theories about the origins of life in the universe. Then, the fact that Proxima d is thought to be a solid planet like Earth is even more fascinating. Proxima Centauri is a low-mass red dwarf star thought to be about one-eighth that of the Sun and has a luminosity that is 500 times lower. Proxima Centauri is located 4.2 light-years away from our solar system. It is one of the suns of the Alpha Centauri star system, the closest known star system to our own. It consists of two stars interlocked in an orbit around each other, or binary stars, and one other star. Even though it is the nearest star to Earth, 
Proxima Centauri is too dim and tiny for human eyes to detect. In 2016, astronomers found a planet circling the dwarf star using their sophisticated telescopes. That planet, Proxima Centauri b, orbits the star at a distance of about 4.7 million miles, with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 days. This Earth-sized planet is located in the habitable zone of its star, making it an exciting potential target for further space research. Another exoplanet, Proxima Centauri c, has approximately seven times the mass of Earth and is classified as a super-Earth or mini-Neptune planet. It revolves around its star at a rate of once every 5.2 years. The planet's long orbital period and the star's dimness make Proxima Centauri c an improbable candidate for habitability. As a group, the planets in the Proxima Centauri system are fascinating to exoplanet researchers because of how diverse they are despite sharing a star. This peculiarity, together with the alluring possibility of a planet completely within a habitable zone, keeps scientists wondering if the star system and its planets could be explored by a future expedition. Using the same tools that found Proxima d, the scientists responsible for the latest finding are aiming to locate other, lighter planets. This accomplishment is crucial. It proves that the radial velocity method can find Earth-like light planets, which are thought to be the most numerous in our galaxy and may be able to support life as we know it. First, there was Proxima b, the Earth-sized planet orbiting the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri. Then came the seven Earth-sized worlds orbiting TRAPPIST-1, a star 39 light years away. Out of these, three are in the zone where life can be sustained. Now we welcome a new tantalizing exoplanet, Ross 128b to the group, the second closest we know of, also Earth-sized and temperate, orbiting a calm red dwarf star. Situated 11 light years away, Ross 128 is a red dwarf star that is ancient and dormant just 4.2 light years separate Proxima Centauri from Earth. But Ross 128 is heading in our direction, and in only 79,000 years it will pass the Sun as the closest star, bringing the planet Ross 128b with it. Considering the oldest human remains are thought to be hundreds of thousands or even millions of years old, it's not crazy to think our species could still be roaming the Earth when Ross 128b becomes the closest exoplanet to our home world. A group of scientists from around the world gathered in Chile's La Silla Observatory to use the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, which is operated by the European Southern Observatory, to find the new planet. For whatever reason, scientists were unable to spot Ross 128b during transit a planetary passage that often allows them to detect a decrease in the star's light, unlike the vast majority of exoplanet findings. Put simply, as the planet spins, it causes the star to sway. By measuring the wobble with the high-accuracy radial velocity planet searcher, astronomers were able to deduce important parameters about the planet, including its mass and distance from the host star. The orbital period of the exoplanet around Ross 128 is 9.9 .9 days, and it passes around its host star at a distance 20 times closer than Earth's distance from the Sun. On the other hand, dwarf star Ross 128 is unusually serene and chilly. It's barely 20% the Sun's diameter and has a surface temperature of just over half that of the Sun. Ross 128b may thus have temperatures between minus 76 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which are similar to Earth's. To find out if Ross 128b is in or near the habitable zone, where liquid water could be present on the surface of the planet, further investigations are required. Compared to Proxima b and the planets in TRAPPIST-1, Ross 128b may be an even better candidate for a life-bearing atmosphere search. Both Proxima Centauri and TRAPPIST-1 are negatively impacted by their intense and frequent flares. The stellar activity of this type can erode or even blast away planetary atmospheres, and high-energy radiation can even sterilize planet surfaces. 
Since the star is considerably less active at this time, Ross 128 has a significant edge. Although red dwarf stars can unleash devastating ultraviolet and X-ray radiation in stellar flares, the peaceful host star of Ross 128b is believed to only expose the planet to 1.38 times the radiation that Earth receives. Ross 128's relative inactivity has led the ESO to speculate that it could be the nearest habitable planet to Earth. But astronomers will have to search Ross 128b's atmosphere, if it has one, for biomarkers if they want to know for sure. An example of a biomarker would be abundant oxygen, which only occurs on Earth thanks to photosynthetic life. As luck would have it, scientists will have access to larger telescopes in the 2020s, such as the extremely large telescope and the giant Magellan telescope, which should be more than capable of searching for these hints. The discovery of new exoplanets is a constant occurrence, especially in the vicinity of red dwarf stars where they are plentiful. As a result, astronomers are eagerly gearing up to utilize future massive telescopes in their quest to find life beyond Earth. Maybe life is already existing on Ross 128b, a planet that will be the nearest to Earth that doesn't revolve around the Sun in less than 100,000 years. Maybe we'll be around to welcome that life when it arrives. We all know that space is big, but homes ready to move into are few and far between. We need some decent target worlds if future space explorers decide to go to one of our stellar neighbours. Fortunately, two other possible locations have been uncovered by recent studies. An international team of astronomers has identified not one, but two Earth-like planets orbiting the star Gliese 1002. Red dwarf Gliese 1002 has a mass of just around one-eighth that of the Sun, which is modest by our standards. But that just means we all need to bundle up to stay warm. Plus, it's not too far away from Earth, at a distance of about 16 light years. Sure, 16 light years is quite a distance. Distance from Earth to the Sun is about one million times that, so even our quickest spacecraft would take a considerable amount of time to travel there. At its maximum speed of 364,660 miles per hour, the Parker Solar Probe, the fastest spacecraft our society has yet built, would take about 30,000 years to reach that distance. A more expedited mode of transportation is required if we intend to depart from the house, although it is prudent to begin making preparations for the journey at this time. The universe is determined to show us that planets similar to Earth are common. Thanks to these two, our knowledge of planetary systems in close proximity to the Sun currently stands at seven. Both planets, designated GJ1002b and GJ1002c, are located within the habitable zone of their parent star and have masses of approximately 1.1 and 1.4 times that of Earth, respectively. That doesn't imply they'd be cozy, but it does put them at a reasonable distance from the surface where liquid water could exist. A joint effort by the two instruments allowed for the planets to be located. A high-resolution search for M-dwarfs using optical and near-infrared Achelle spectrographs and exoarths at Calo Alto is the first. And the second one is the Achelle spectrograph for rocky exoplanet and stable spectroscopic observations. Both of those names are quite lengthy, so scientists abbreviate them to Carmenes and Espresso. Espresso continued its observations into 2021 after Carmenes had completed its initial run from 2017 to 2019. To detect faraway objects, both sensors detect very small variations in light intensity using various sensitivities. Scientists were able to study the planets with a degree of detail not achievable using any other devices thanks to the combination of data from both. Although we do not plan to visit Gliese 1002 anytime soon, we should investigate them further, particularly in regards to determining what their atmospheres are like because of how close they are to Earth. Using spectrometers to gather delicate information in reflected light, scientists can figure out what sorts of chemical compounds are present in faraway alien skies. 
It would be a further plus for habitability if they were to have oxygen at the correct concentrations and the air was non-toxic otherwise. Neither planet, though, would make you feel at home. The orbital period of GJ1002b is 10 days, while the orbital period of GJ1002c is 21 days. Seasons change every several weeks, so if Earth orbited that fast, we'd have to cope with unpredictable weather. Climate and weather are affected by various factors, including the composition of the atmosphere, the amount of water present, and whether or not the planets are tidally locked. Those details are still a mystery, and likely will be for a long time, but we highly doubt it would be a homey place. But you can't possibly appreciate what you've lost out on if you're a member of the thousandth generation aboard a spacecraft that departed from Earth eons ago. Undoubtedly, the past few years have been watershed ones for the discovery of new and intriguing worlds. There is also Wolf 1069b, a boring and stodgy designation. Let's call it Wolfie, shall we? A new study conducted by 50 keen-eyed astronomers confirmed something awesome. This exoplanet, Wolfie, which is located just 31 light years away from us, could potentially be a rocky world. In other words, theoretically, it's a habitable planet. The radial velocity method was employed by the discovery team to identify the exoplanet. Astronomers use this method to track the motion of the planets and stars, like in a game of catch, where you can watch the ball getting closer and closer as your friend throws it to you. That's kind of like radial velocity. When a planet approaches Earth, the star it orbits gives the illusion of approaching closer to Earth. Because the planet is receding from our line of sight, the star likewise appears farther away. This data will help scientists determine the size and motion of the planet. So that's how they track down Wolfie. According to calculations, this exoplanet is around one and a third times as massive as Earth. Its size is comparable to Earth's. It's in the planetary orbit of Wolfie's mother star, a red dwarf star called Wolf 1069. The most exciting part, though, is that Wolfie lies in the habitable zone of its star, making it an ideal candidate for the presence of liquid water on its surface. That's like hitting the exoplanetary jackpot. Based on the study's estimations, liquid water could potentially pool on the day side of Wolfie if the planet does in fact have an atmosphere similar to Earth. Temperatures could rise to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The hitch, though, is that the exoplanet's orientation toward its star is fixed, meaning that it never changes. Envision a world where one side is constantly warmed by the light of a star while the other side is permanently dark. According to the research group that made the discovery, it's a great potential subject for future investigations. The problem is that we won't likely have any answers for at least another decade. Up until then, all we can do is keep looking up into the sky through our telescopes and hope for the best. Next up is Toy 700E. NASA says this new planet is set to take the galaxy by storm, or should we say, by orbit. It's barely 100 light years away, nearly as big as Earth, and it probably contains liquid water on its surface. It takes only about 28 days for the planet to complete one full orbit around its star and it is the fourth planet in its system. Then again, you'd have a birthday every single month. How exciting! This time, the discovery was made using the transit method. Planets are so tiny that they are nearly impossible to spot. But when a planet passes in front of a star, it dims its light slightly because the planet is blocking some of the star's rays. The star's brightness returns as soon as the planet recedes. Therefore, in order to locate the planet, astronomers meticulously monitor the star's brightness levels. If it does, that suggests there's probably a planet playing hide and seek with us. That's how this planet was found. The TESS mission discovered it. TOI 700E is located in the optimistic habitable zone between planets C and D, but it may be tidally locked, just like Wolfie so we might have to settle for a one-sided water world. This finding shows that TESS has the ability to identify 
even smaller exoplanets in the future, and it also provides hope for future follow-up observations. After all, it could lead humanity to a new home among the stars in the far future. Or at least, a new vacation destination. Until then though, savour the present and revel in the abundance of new knowledge. Given the rate of technological advancement, it is impossible to predict how many other planets may be discovered in the future. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.